Hi everyone and welcome to this tutorial. Here I'm going to show you a really great way to navigate around large worksheets. And it works like this. We have a little navigation section right here. We want to see sales by date. We click that and we go down here. When we're done we can go back up by clicking the arrow and very quickly navigate all around. It's nice, it's visual, easy to use, easy to understand. And I'm going to show you how to add this to any worksheet in your workbook. And if you like this tutorial, make sure to check out my Excel courses on teachexcel.com, especially the full comprehensive VBA course that'll take you from beginner and intermediate all the way to expert level. I'll put a link to those courses below this video. And the file you see before you is actually from that Excel VBA course. Everything except for the little navigation section I'm going to show you here. But now let me peel back the layers and show you what's going on here. Let us go to view and show the grid lines, headings, and formula bar. So it'll look a little bit more like a regular spreadsheet here. And I'm going to zoom out just a tiny little bit. And there are three things that we're going to use here. We're going to use links within the worksheet. We're going to use shapes right here. And we're going to use a tiny little bit of VBA to make it work a little bit nicer. And what I'm going to do now is to go right in here and let's remove some of the coloring here so it'll make it a little bit easier to see what's going on and to be a little bit familiar with it. These right here are just cells. And what I've done is I've used a trick I've shown many of you before for how to make rounded corners right here. This is just a shape. It's a shape that we put around the corners of the cells to make it look a little bit nicer and make it the same color here and remove the fill color of this. I'll come back to that towards the end of the tutorial so we can make it look a little bit nicer. Let me delete it for now. The first thing that you want to do is to identify the different sections of your worksheet. Where do you want to send the user? And if we go down here, we can see I probably want to send them to this chart right here. And I probably want them to view it like this. So a little bit of space above the chart, it's really up to you how you do it. The point is you want a cell reference right over here. So the upper leftmost cell that you want to be visible when they click one of those links from your navigation section. This would be B26 right here, but what I've done is a little trick just to make it visually a little bit more appealing. So we've hidden column A. So if I go right here and right click unhide, then we're going to see column A right here. Now you don't need to have a hidden column. I'll show you what that does in just a moment. But the point is you want to figure out what's going to be the upper left most of where you want your link to go. So here we have A26 and the section is going to be store sales by data. So let's make a little descriptive text right here. Sales by date. That's what I meant. And we'll hit enter. Then right click that text and go to a link. Then you want to go to place in this document. And we can scroll up and make sure the worksheet that we're on right now is the one that has been selected and change the cell reference right here from A1 to A26. We hit OK. And now we've got some text where when I click it, watch, this is the active cell right now. The active cell will now be A26. So I click that and A26. Now by default, it's not actually going to align the worksheet like it just did. So let me very quickly remove the little line of VBA code I'm going to show you in a moment and I'm going to come back to this. All right, so let's try clicking that again. We select up here and I click here and all it's going to do is to send the active cell down here to A26, which is not what we want. We want it to go up and we'll add that in just a moment with a line of VBA code. But the very next thing is, so once we have it down here like this, do we want the user to be able to go up very easily? And the answer for me is yes. So if I have a very long worksheet, I want them to be able to click this and go all the way up to the top. And that is very easy. So what I've done here is we go to insert and we go to illustrations, shapes, and it is currently off the screen, but I'm going to choose an arrow that points up from the block arrows section and just click and draw myself a little arrow, however big you want it to be. Then we can right click that guy and go to a link. And we want to select place in this document and for the cell reference A01 and make sure it's this worksheet dashboard. Perfect. Hit OK. Then we can click away, click the arrow, and even without the macro, it's going to automatically push us all the way up to the top. 
But there's one thing I really don't like. I don't like it when these cells are selected like this. So if I click here and let's click another link right here, let's say sales by store. So that cell right here is selected. I don't like the way it looks. So that's why I've added an extra column over here, column A, and then we just right click it and hide it. Then we can scroll back up to the top. Everything looks good. Again, we can click one of these links. And then notice we don't have a big ugly cell selection. I can click the arrow to go back up and the same thing. So now let's make it so when we click these links, it aligns to the upper left part of the worksheet. What you can do here is to right click the worksheet where you want this feature to happen. Or in a moment, I'll show you how to put it for the whole workbook. Then we go to view code and in the upper left, hit general, select a worksheet then go to the right where it says selection change hit follow hyperlink we can now remove this and this is an event that means that whenever a hyperlink is clicked this code whatever we put right here is going to run and all we want to do is to run some code that's going to make the worksheet align the way that we want it to so we can use the lovely application dot go to and what you want to do is just type active cell comma true and that is it what that says is hey i want you to go somewhere where do i want you to go wherever the active cell is the hyperlink sends us to a new active cell so that's where we want to go and putting true right here says hey i want you to align that to the upper left part of the worksheet screen now we can hit alt f11 to go back to the worksheet and click any of these links including the one we just added and it's going to be aligned just like that so now all of our links here are going to work like that. However, if we go to another worksheet in the workbook, it is not going to function that way. So if we have links over here, those links are not going to automatically align to the upper left part of the worksheet screen. If you want to do that for everywhere in the entire workbook, hit Alt F11 to go to the VBA window where we just were. And this time we're not going to put the code inside of a specific worksheet. So notice dashboard is selected right here. We want to go down to this workbook. And for general, click that, choose a workbook. For open, click that, choose sheet, follow hyperlink. We can remove this and give it a little space. Application dot go to active cell true. So put this code in this workbook if you want it to work for every worksheet or put it in dashboard. I'm going to comment this out real quick so it won't run or put it in the worksheet that you care about. So you can double click the worksheet over here or right click the worksheet tab. This is the easiest way to get there. Right click the worksheet tab that you care about and go to view code to take you to that place. Then put the code in there. And now it's going to work. Everything will work. So the very last thing I'm going to show you is just how to make it look a little bit better because we want it to blend in with everything that we have here. So what I'm going to do is to go ahead and put those rounded corners on this guy right here. And the only other thing that I did over here is I made this guy bold so I can select it, go to the home tab, make him bold and a little bit bigger, however big you want it to be and maybe center align it. Then we can make everything this color, and let's go ahead and add those rounded corners. Now the rounded corners up here are added in a slightly different way than what I'm going to show you right here, but you have to take my full VBA course to get all of the functionality of this workbook. So let's just add our borders, illustrations, shapes, and it's off the screen. But what we want is a rounded rectangle or here it's called rectangle rounded corners. Then we draw it over like this and we can make the corners a little bit sharper so it covers everything then go to shape format and for shape outline choose the color that we want the same color as the cells that are below this and for shape fill we can go no fill now let's go back to shape outline and make it thick so we go to weight and maybe six points will work then we can grab the edge, pull it in just a little bit like that. And we have our rounded corners. Then go to view, 
remove grid lines, headings, and formula bar. And we have got a pretty darn nice looking worksheet right now. Now that's all for this tutorial. If you liked it or the way that I teach, make sure to check out my full Excel tutorials on teachexcel.com and I'll put a link to them below this video.